Hello, Monsters of Banter, and welcome back to Total War Three Kingdoms and part eight of my Papa Turban campaign. Papa Nurgle has pressed me to his pussy bosom once more, which means I'm not firing all cylinders, I'll be honest. Uh, brain capacity, probably about, well, bandwidth, probably about 50% at the moment, uh, which means there will be many questionable military decisions, military and strategic decisions going on during the episode so pretty much business as usual then really uh so we are doing okay the mandate war is in our favor we have 32 of the 50 settlements we need we can see that i have 14 shang bao uh bao bao bi bu bu that guy he's got 10 and other factions have eight and Zhang liang he's fucked he's dead he's gone um despite that he's still dragging us down i've checked he is dead i can't find him so uh if he pops back up, then there he is. But otherwise, it says that he has been defeated. He's gone. He's out of here. Um, now, as some people pointed out, we have a quick look. I think it's Boca. Yes, Boca. So this guy here, he actually has the Imperial Jade Seal, and I have no fucking clue how we managed to get hold of that. Marshal of Men. Some people are born to lead. Others prefer to be from the very front. As an example of their... F okay, sure. Not. Sh don't know why he's managed to get his hands on that, but I would like to get my hands on him. And therefore, that. Although, realistically, it's not that good. Where are we? There we go. So, it gives it gives quite a bit of satisfaction and authority. It's not bad, but it's not like... You know, I want it, but I'm, I'm not... I'm not desperate for it. it. It would be It would be nice. But, you know... If we can get it, we certainly will, you know, take the Jade Seal. I don't know how he's got it, though. A little bit confused about how he's managed to acquire it in his sticky little paws, but uh, who knows? Because I, I, I know that Sun Jian starts with it in the Three Kingdoms campaign, but in the Mandate of Heaven campaign, because Sun Jian finds it in the ruins of Luyong, after the coalition drives um, Dong Zhao out um, and he flees westward. So I don't quite sort of understand sort of who starts with it. So it might be him. Who knows? Many people have come forward offering to join our humble cause. Okay. Um, let's have some compassion. Sure. Lovely bit of compassion there. Can we hire... Bo Kai. Is he still there? Has he been hired by someone else? He is still there. Can we hire him? Hello, sir? Have we got him? There he is. We've got him. Okay, good. Right, so, so what we can do is we can actually just go... I'm going to remove that. And I'm going to give it to you. Sure, now you've got the Imperial Seal. I mean, I, mean, I, I don't know how anyone would would say you're not, you know, the general now. I'm the captain now. That's right, he is. What does this do? More range damage for crossbows. Good, could be useful if we had crossbows. We do not. What do you have? You've got a bow. I quite like that. You can keep the bow. Do we have anything? I, I, I do try. Right, you've got everything. You've, someone said we've got the... I'm trying to think because of a mountain to reach awesome views. Sure, or you can use a ladder. Either way, you know, I'm not whatever. Someone said we had I was looking at one of these sets and someone said, yeah, no, I I said I didn't have it when I actually did, and I can't remember who Ah, was it this one, the expert of barracks? Maybe can't remember not sure was it something to do with this i don't think the expert i mean we've got the expert barracks the expert barracks isn't very good it's not actually that useful is it bookkeeper no we don't have a local administrator nature's guidance we don't have an astronomer okay might have been the the barracks in which case i'm not that sort of worried about it I can live without it. I can live without it. Now, I could go and mop up this stuff. 
or I could come down and deal with this. Now, the, the stronger armies do seem to be massing in the south. So it could be the better option to sort of head south. Also, we do need Lu Yang. Lu Yang? Lu Yang, I think. Um, we do need Lu Yang. I kind of want to lay siege to this. What's the garrison here like? I think I checked it and it was like scary. Scary garrison? That is quite a large garrison. Not possible. Serve integrity. I just. No. I just don't know if we can take them. The thing is, I think we can just ignore them. <laughs> I think we can just basically ignore them for the moment. Um. Like we could come down and hit um, Kong Rong. Do some of that. But maybe I need to link up with my other armies. Who's Not this? Possible. Ooh, it's Huang Vong Song. Modest and stalwart. Okay. I'm kind of tempted to just lay siege to it and see what happens. I mean, you know, worst case, we all die. That's That's worst case. That's always the worst case. Let's... Pass on by. Because I don't think he's going to do anything. And I think we can... I think we can kind of... Because like, there's no real threat here. These guys aren't really that scary. So I'm fairly sure I can kind of leave them. And head down and start knocking out some of these nastier armies down here. I think that's what we need to do. I also would like more money. More money would be a good a good thing, I think. And we've also got assignments, which I can... Construction cost reduction. Is there anything that's going to increase income from... Pe yes, income from peasantry. That's what we want. Where's... Right, 673 from there. So, if we make one of you... I don't really care who. You. You do that. You're attracting... Are you always going to be doing that? Is it just one turn, I think? Are they just doing one turn? Okay, I think they're just... Right, they'll, they'll attract talent. Hopefully they will finish doing that. And I can send them off to do something. Oh, I don't like you. What are you up to? Oh, cheeky. Very, very cheeky. Don't like that. Okay, no problem though. We, we've got the... Hello. Oh, you've decided to come out and fight, have you? Okay, well, that means you don't have the garrison to help you. It says we can, reach, we can win a Pyrrhic victory. I mean, these guys are quite tanky, but I think considering it says that we should be able to win, I reckon we can probably just kill them. And then we can take their city. Neat. I did say this uh, this episode would be full of questionable strategic military choices, and this is one of them, as half of our army deploys Vanguard style. That's right, going Vanguard style. But 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 going Vanguard style, by which I mean they're deploying ahead of the main army. Um, some of the units though have to stay behind. Some of the spears, some of the archers, and of course our cavalry. Our is under Zhang Kai leading the charge, and. Instantly getting knocked off his horse. And then trying to kill people and failing, apparently. Fortunately, here comes the rest of our men. It's absolute carnage. And on the right flank, we can see cavalry trying to flank around. We're going to hopefully get our spears in position just in time. The charge is not a good one. And what's his face? Tang Zhao is engaging at the unit of cavalry. We're going to open fire there. More spears coming in to engage that. Our cavalry finally getting around the flank of the enemy army. However, we've got a nice surround here. 
Little uh, ballista attack coming in, knocking out some of our archers, but I'm not too worried about them. Here comes the cavalry, literally in this case. As their crossbows are about to get wiped out, as well as the uh, bolt, bolt crossbow? Sure, whatever. Uh, it's got 194 kills so far. It's been doing good work right up until about now. Now less so. With the cavalry running around behind the enemy lines, panic has started to set in and their right flank has collapsed. Zhang Kai has decided to engage the enemy general in single combat. Good job, you. And you can see the right flank of the enemy army there just collapsing as our cavalry race around, knocking out unit after unit. Our right flank a little bit more dicey as we're holding that cavalry at bay, but we are holding it at bay. And Zhang Kai and the enemy general, what's his name? Fan Min, finally reaching each other. Ha! <laughs> Bants, eh? Am I right? Yep. Jankai is indeed the Bishop of Banterbury. The Ban Bantip of Banter... Sure, whatever. Anyway, uh, meanwhile, we're just mopping up the enemy army as most of it is on the run. Just a little, um, little core of units staying still, just holding for the moment. Although they have now broken as uh, Tang charges in. Han Fu still standing, as well as Gua. Basically, the generals are the only thing currently fighting. Um, but we are chopping away at them. Zhang Kai looks to be mopping the floor with the enemy general. Just It's just no contest. As our cavalry chase down as many units as they can. I do, it's one of the things I do love, is the way you get these little flags just popping. I, I love that effect. It's so good. Looks like Guan Chun is um, losing this engagement. Super hard. Yep. Yep, he died. He died. How about this duel? How's the duel going? Still... Nope, still going. Now, I like the duels. However, there is this thing about going, if you win before this time, then, you know, you get these bonuses. Or if you survive... The problem is, there isn't really... I mean, unless you have effects, there isn't really much you can do to affect it. Come on, come on, Zhang Kai, stop, stop mucking about with them. Um, so it's kind of just arbitrary whether you, you kind of succeed. There are some buffs you can obviously give your, your general to help out. If you've got another general nearby, they can buff them up, something like that. Um, but most of the time, it doesn't really seem to have much effect. Um, it tends to be just sort of pure pot luck whether it happens or not and we can see we, we, we vastly out sort of like man him is this is no problem and yet this this duel has still taken quite a while until he chopped his head off of course yeah well you didn't just kill him you literally dismembered him a bit harsh don't think he deserved it Smashed it. Justice cannot be denied. Whoa, that's big monies. Like the big monies. We still only got we didn't get much zeal just by the fact we you know got a lot of our guys killed, which you know feels feels unfair. Feels like uh you know a big pile of dead bodies. Should net us some big zeal, but apparently not. Oh well. Any zeal is good zeal. Ooh. Where are you going? Okay, well, declawing the tiger, Sun Zhan is killed by Huang Zhu, the battle of Jit cut down in a hail of arrows. Okay, so Sun Zhan dead. Good for him. China is people, not its oppressive warlords. Oh, I think. Should we just like demand the surrender? No. Okay, in that case, let's. Build some siege towers. Shout Don't fury. think they're going to be particularly difficult to kill. We've got the white stallion. We've also got a builder, a big burly builder man. 
Good. Okay, you've already got a white thoroughbred. Let's give you something. I guess I could do that. Sure. You've got quite a lot of charge bonus now. From what I... Charge bonus is 207. It's not bad. It's not bad at all. Purge corruption. Okay. You will need to build siege equipment unless you have... You don't have any siege equipment. Okay, that's fine. I could go and hit the farmland. I just don't know if there's anyone down here. Nearby. So what I'm going to do... Is I'm going to play it safe. We will strike like and do something like that. In the meantime, I'm also going to play it safe down here. The way will guide us. Now... They have been laying siege to our farmland for some time. I don't quite understand why. But, uh, sh Oh. Zhang Liang is indeed alive. There he is. I thought he was dead. But he's not. He's very... I mean, apparently news of his death was... Was overstated. There he is. I did a search for him and couldn't find him. But he is still alive. Okay, well in that case, we probably want to recruit him, don't we? Let's recruit him. Now, we don't... Well, we, we do have quite a bit of money. We could maybe get another... Guy up. On, oh my god, Zeal dropping very, very fast. We're almost... We've almost dropped. That's bad. Because we're going to get minus five public order. Now, we already get... Um, what's the population growth? So get 9k... 9k a turn. Okay. Minus four percent. I mean, the four percent food isn't really a problem. We're going to lose some replenishment and... It's a bit of a bugger. Keeping your zeal up is actually really, really tricky. It's very, very tricky. Okay, but how are we doing? Oh, Zhang Bao lost some settlements. That is probably why our zeal dropped quite substantially. We need to win some battles. And soon. Otherwise, that zeal is going to continue to drop. I think the zeal being spread between the Yellow Turban factions is... It's an interesting mechanic... It can sometimes feel a bit frustrating when you're watching, like, your ally lose settlement after settlement, and there's nothing, or, or like, lose battles that they really shouldn't pick. Um, Tolerance is the best we can offer. Hello. No, you see, li literally, no one wants to be friends. Everyone's very grumpy about that. We will remember this. Sure, I, d I don't actually know who you are, so. You know, um, you, uh, you, you're attacking. Okay, brave. You know, I'll give you that. Ballsy, sure. Sure, ballsy. I think I'm just going to delegate that. Because I'm not that bothered if I lose a shit ton of people, because it will just give me more zeal. So, you know. Return them to their kin. And we'll just release them so that we get some more money, because the more money we have, the better. I feel like we're going to drop... I feel like we're going to lose some zeal. Yeah. 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 Okay. Okay, no problem. Um, ooh. Man-Ann has been expelled. Sure. Surrender imminent the farmland. Okay. Sun Jian has been... Okay, so their son, Sun Tzu, is underage. So Lady Wu has taken command. Han Fu. Don't know who that was. Loyalty versus duty. Bo Sai and Sai Yuan 
both people I mean you are the guy with the who had the Imperial seal but um not any longer I I don't know you sure and let's occupy and aid the wounded we should be able to replenish fast and hopefully we can go and deal with that okay we're just going to charge you and I don't quite understand why you've been deciding to lay siege the farm when you could have taken it a hundred times but I guess I'll threaten you and you'll run away I mean you've got quite a big army that I could kill I'm just going to delegate it though I don't know how you managed to stab him with the staff, heaven but... Guided our weapons. Well, did, did Heaven guide that staff to... through the ribcage? Sure, whatever. Um, let's take the ransom. Do their master's bidding. Let the people rejoice in our oh, victory. was that because you didn't have any settlements? Faith. Bit weird that you just didn't take it then, but whatever. I'm not, you know, not complaining, I guess. I don't think we're going to be able to build the zeal up again. Mind you, it, uh, we no, we have. We have built it back up, but it's going to drop back below. Okay, not the end of the world. We're doing okay. I'm not, I'm not too worried. We've got big monies, though, and I want to spend the big monies on upgrading some of this stuff. So let's do that. And where I think we're making quite a lot of money like here as well. And here. And here. So all of this stuff is good. Like here would be good as well. Is there any build like so someone said there was buildings that increase um increase zeal. Is that true? Temple. There's fervor. That's research rates. That's population growth, public order, fervor, fervor, public orders. I don't think there's anything that increases zeal. There's fervor, but that's slightly different. Um, fervor isn't so much of a problem. For China. Let's repair this stuff that we've got here. Income from commerce. Income from commerce. I guess we could maybe go... Farming? Sure. Okay, should we, should, we should replenish quite quick. I mean, we, we replenish quite quickly anyway, so we should be able to deal with that. Um, I'm kind of tempted to raise an army here. Can I not... How much fucking money? 9k? You're shitting me. Mind you, your army is, like, really good. Spearman Gallant. Gallants of the people. A couple of them. Tyrant Slayers. I could like Ever upwards. cancel some of my buildings and get I think we're going to do that let's get Ready you and righteous. you're up what have you got you've got a great axe is it great? sure You've got armor, that's good. You've got that. You've got a bodyguard, that's not the worst. You've got Ho Huang Fong Song's bow. Where the fuck did you get that? You know what? I'm not going to ask the question. Uh, you've got a grudge against Empress He. Well, I think we all do, to be honest. I think, <laughs> I think we all do. Okay, you're going to go in there. In the event that this army advances towards you, I think we can still deal with, with her. So I think that's fine. That's okay. Um, obviously, that army's going to cost a lot to upkeep, but I feel like the more armies we have, the more chances we have to to kill and get zeal. And this is a good... This could be a good way to get more zeal. So any problem is we've only got a couple... Oh, no, we've got three units of, of cavalry. That's not too bad. 
It says a Peric victory. I think we can do better than that. So we've actually got some deployables in this battle. I could have used them in the last battle. Um, but they're sort of more defensive in nature. But we've got a little tower here. There's a little, little tower. Lovely stuff. Uh, we've also got some um, little thingies. Barricades. Spiky things. Bamboo spikies. Yep. That's pretty good, isn't it? I like that. Uh, I was using them to defend my my infantry from the cavalry. The cavalry is on the right flank over here. Uh, now, I don't really have much of a way of dealing with them apart from using my own cavalry. Fortunately, because we've got He Yi here, he actually buffs up their melee evasion, which means these guys have a pretty good melee evasion at like 70, like 34%. So they're far more defensible. So we've got four units of enemy cavalry coming around on our right flank. Our archers have already opened fire. The rest of the enemy army is incoming, mostly just infantry. It feels like the yellow turban infantry is just slightly better than, than the coalition infantry. It kind of needs to be considering that um, we, we have to face so much of it. So enemy cavalry is charging. We're going to pull back a little bit towards the safety of our own lines so we don't get uh, pulled out of position. However, we're then going to return their charge. And it's a bit of a mess. More charging in over here. We're keeping back the last unit just in case. He Yi is engaged enemy general Zhong Yuan. Their cavalry charging in, taking a little bit of damage there on the right flank. We've got cavalry to support just in case. And already the enemy infantry is just legging it. They're gone. On our left flank, the chosen of the eight immortals. Heavy halbard infantry. Chopping down the spear guards. They're not having really too much of a problem with that. And yep, the enemy army is in full retreat. We have got a couple of duels going on. So we've got Yong, Yong v. Geng. There we go. Sure, that, that works. And He Yi is easily dealing with uh, Zhong over here. Zhong is doing his best. But uh, He Yi, he's one with the people. So that's nice. Come on, He Oh, you just chuck his spear at him. Cheeky bastard. Come on, finish him off. Cut his head off. You just stop, thro stop throwing his spear. That's rude. You can see the enemy army breaking in the distance. Now, we're gonna... Yep. Looks like uh, the enemy general... They really like chucking spears at each other, don't they? The enemy general deciding to run away rather than face... Face he ye, can't really blame him. Uh, most of the enemy army is retreating, but they are rallying, and our units are chasing after them. So we're going to pull our guys back and use our cavalry just to chase down the fleeing units and let our archers sort of mop up. Basically, as units try and come back, they'll get shot by our archers and knocked out. I think we actually shot... Now, I, I didn't think you could actually um, kill the enemy general, but I think, I think our archers did it for him. Because he's... Yeah. Oh dear. Has he got an arrow buried in his head? That's unfortunate. Um, normally you can't target generals that are fleeing, I don't think. But apparently archers can? I don't know. Not 100% not sure what happened there. But um, he got... Well, he took an arrow to the face, apparently. Okay, come on. Come on, Yong. You got this. It's just Geng. You're two levels higher than him. This should be no problem. You got this. It's, it's going okay. We've got, look, Zheng's there to, to cheer you on, just in case. Um, I think it should be, should be okay. It's a little bit close. He Yi is chasing after the enemy uh, strategist, trying to take her out. Come on, He Yi. Don't let, look. Don't let her... He's got some spear boys coming in. Less than ideal. Our archers are mostly out of ammo. However, most of the enemy army is on the run. How's this duel go? I mean, it's, it's a little bit closer than I would have liked, actually. It's just towards the end of that bout. It looks like he's just got a good, good couple of hits in, and she doesn't really have much armour. Didn't need it. His head's come off. Yeah, I mean... 
No, he, he no, he, he can't. He doesn't have a head anymore. That's... I'm not a doctor, but I think you, you do need your head to stand, generally. Good old he ye. Defending our flank admirably. Look at that. There it goes. Uh, only eight zeal. Shame. Never mind. Uh, more income. Release them. So they may reconsider their path. Oh, we're going to lose so much zeal at this rate. We're losing so many settlements. I don't know why. Suddenly it's like a, a secondary attack's come in. Okay, we won a little battle there, so that's good. So I was feeling pretty confident, but... Things have suddenly gone a little bit uh, a Pete Tong. And she declared a feud. What does that mean? A feud? Okay. And apparently we've got the General of Flying Stones. That's a very dangerous general. A lot of a lot of potential head injuries going on there. Right, let's kill you. Bop. Yep, sure, straight through the head. Let the people rejoice in our victory. Yep, well, you just stabbed the woman through the head, so sure, why not? A little bit extra zeal. I'll take the cash. Thank you very much. Okay, you should heal up nice and quickly. Got a rank up here. I would like the extra... I kind of want the extra range damage, but... Um... Yeah, okay, let's do that. Let's do that. Okay, you're over there. You're doing fine. You're doing okay. I kind of... I think I can kind of ignore... In faith. That flank for the moment. Do I? The problem is... If we take that... They're just across the river. Whereas here they have to cross the mountains. And I think that makes life a little bit harder for them. So I'm kind of like... Just keep the mountains as a defensive position. Oh, we've got a war glaive. Another white stallion. Uh, where's he? -yi? The way is the only law. You can have a war glaive because you do good stuff. You do good killy. You are a killy man. You're a leader of the people, but also a killy man. Um, I want to take that. Focus your is there anyone there? There is no, no one there. No, nope, there is someone there, but I don't think you Rock are going step. to be a Pyrrhic victory. You know what, I'll kind of take that, because the more people of ours die, the more zeal we get, right? From the roots to so we lost almost 2,000. 17 zeal. Big zeal. Big zeal income. Okay, terrible collapse. Suspend construction. Meh. Lose some uh, more satisfaction. I guess we can... Oh, we've got lots of money. Sure, we'll do that. Ever upwards. Okay. Now, this isn't the front line yet, but it might be, because we're kind of falling back on all fronts, unfortunately. Um, even Gong Du, who was doing okay for himself, looks to be... He's just got a couple... No, he's got, he's got a large town and a couple of rice paddies, and that's it. Oh, no, he does have a small city as well. He's, oh, he's over here as well. Okay, well, I was, maybe I was too... A little bit too soon, too previous for Gong Du. But however, it should be said that He's lost a lot of settlements. In fact, we're now down to 30 or 50. Now, I have 16, but uh, Zhang Bao has lost quite a few settlements. Um, so that's not particularly great. We are, I mean... We're doing okay, aren't we? We're doing all right. I think. <laughs> I think. What do you do? More further adjacent commanderies, attrition toss off forces. Okay, you're not super interesting then. Plus 8% attrition to hostile forces is okay. Do you what bonuses do you give your to you to your units? I don't think you really do give anything. So that's fine. Oh, maybe I should have given you the um, 
the war glaive. Oh well, you can have a spear. Maybe you shouldn't have died, eh? Just throwing them out there. Oh, I quite like you in this army, but can't really afford you super expensive poachers. Apparently poachers have, someone said they have poison arrows, even though it says they don't. Not sure, maybe. I guess we can always check. Um, I can always have a captain. They are quite cheap, aren't they? He says, but he can't afford any of them. I mean, you know, it's fine. Truth will prevail. Okay, I think what we're going to do is we're going to head in this direction. We're going to kind of cut across, I think. See if we can catch um, capture Lu Yong. Because if we can capture Lu Yong, then I don't know. Do we get a special event? Is, does that help us? Maybe? I mean, at the moment, I could use any help I can get, to be honest. Anything would be good. Oh, I could do this. So we have some commerce income here. It's not massive, but I could, like, increase it. So I'm kind of tempted to do that. On the other, I mean, it's not going to increase it as much as, we do have the fishing port here. Does that, can we get, oh, we can get some income from commerce at high rank. Is there anything that's going to give us, we could get a little bit of commerce income there. Okay, let's, let's do that. We'll go hard for the commerce income. We'll get Wu Bar in here. He can do something like that even though it's probably better to um, increase the peasantry income because just is I'm going to send you to do that okay lovely hopefully we should get some more money coming in we need to deal with all of these income I mean to be honest I don't feel like we're in a lot I like I don't feel like we're in a lot of trouble like our armies it's, we just spread a bit thin and it's okay because we kind of got our allies at the moment. But as our allies are falling back, we could end up having to face like multiple stacks at the same time. And that would obviously be bad. But that is going to have to wait until next time. So thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you in the next episode of the Papa Turban campaign.